Okay, so I was going to do a real world range test on my BYD Auto 3, and then I came across all these different range testing standards, such as the NEDC, WLTP, as well as EPA. So in this video, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into understanding what those numbers mean and how we can extract the real world range from those numbers. My name is Ed and welcome to Juice Garage. So when you go and buy a new car, the manufacturer will have a claimed range for that car. And that claimed range is generally advertised under one of these three standards, the NEDC, WLTP, or EPA. For example, when you go on the Tesla website, you can see that the range claim is using the WLTP standard. Whereas if you look at the BYD Auto 3, the advertised range is under the NEDC standard. So it's very important for us to know what those numbers mean and we're comparing apples to apples when we're choosing between the different options. NEDC, New European Driving Cycle. NEDC was introduced in the 1980s and the testings are done in the lab under perfect conditions. So this doesn't take into consideration any air resistance or aircon that is being used on board. And because of this, the NEDC range is always going to be higher than the real world range. Now people have obviously realized this, so since 2017, the NEDC has been replaced with a newer WLTP standard. WLTP, Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure. The new WLTP standard have improved some of the test components. So instead of doing a single cycle test, the WLTP has a dynamic cycle which better represents real world driving. Each cycle has been increased from 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And as a result, this also increased the cycle distance from 11 kilometers to 23.25 kilometers. The test phases has also increased from two phases to four phases with more emphasis on highway performance. And last but not least, the average speed has also been increased from 34 kilometers per hour to 46.5 kilometers per hour. Now with these improvements, whilst the claim range is still quite ambitious, it has increased the accuracy from 70% of the NEDC all the way up to 90% using the WLTP standard. And then there's also the EPA standard. EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. Unlike the NEDC and the WLTP, which is an European standard, the EPA is a standard based in the US and it is by far the strictest, but it produces the most accurate number to the real world range. At the end of the day, it is very important to note that the real world range is very much depending on the driving behavior as well as the driving conditions. So with that in mind, looking at the BYD Auto 3, I can see that the NEDC claimed range is around 480 kilometers and the WLTP is 420. So 70% of the 480 should give me around about 336 kilometers and the 90% of the 420 should give me around about 378 kilometers. Um, so in theory, I should be comfortably getting close to 360 kilometers without any issues. Or will we? Well, I'm gonna put this to the test. So if you wanted to find out how far I can go in the BYD in one charge, make sure you subscribe because the next video is going to be juicy. Juicy or juiced? Well, next video is gonna be juiced. Next video is gonna be juiced up with content.